All right, so we're gonna start. See how this is already loose? If you don't have a piece that's already loose, you're just gonna have to kinda start with one. But see how that just came up? It's, it's because there's no mortar underneath there. Or the mortar they put underneath there wasn't sufficient. So see how it just popped up like that? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in here and start working this up, okay? And we'll start getting it out from underneath the wall base and try to keep that wall base intact again, like I mentioned. If we have to, we can lift the wall base up just a little bit, um, but we wanna try to keep it intact so it doesn't affect the customer's uh, painted walls. So we've only been working on this for probably about 20 minutes, um, plus I've been juggling with the, uh, the camera. But um, it's important to try to get uh, some of the other tile protected. I have um, cardboard that I'm leaning on. I'm going to try to take it out of the cover here and see if that helps at all. There, I'll, <laughs> I'll hold this with my knees. We'll see what happens. It's always exciting. Okay. Now, this here is designed to get the grout out. It doesn't always work. You know, it's basically just to get like the top layer out, not all of it. Um, then you can re-grout. But I'm going to try to just get a little bit of this the angle here out so I can get my little pry bar underneath it. If you make long strokes like that, that'll um, it works pretty well. Sometimes I start it by just going back and forth in one area there to get kind of a little groove. So you just gotta start breaking it. There's you know, just gotta just gotta do it. Yeah, it'll just start coming up. And you can see too, looks like they used the, the Schluter board underneath. That might have also not been properly attached. We'll have to see once we get underneath there. Alright, so I'm gonna stop recording um, so I can get this done and just start tearing this up, you know, just like this. And I'll get back to you.